What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE 2K19. My career, I am hoping it saved me where I left off yesterday at Backlash. And so I welcome you to a fine Saturday here on the program as JoJo explains. This will be a two out of three falls match. It's one of the hottest superstars in WWE, Buzz! <laughs> oh, Michael Cole, that is funny but here we go main roster outfit the new deal the new entrance the new face that i've figured out the face thing more and better and it's still not quite 100 there but definitely much better than the previous burn victim look i had going on with the whole face import face scan business proper t-shirt better tights we're here it's saturday video games u.s championship match backlash I spoke to Buzz today, and he told me no matter how much success he has, he still gets nervous to compete in front of this many people. Coming from BCW, he should be used to big crowds. I heard that one event almost drew more fans than a JV girls volleyball playoff match. We never talked, Cole. I don't know. Just stop making things up. Slug! Things just became absolutely glorious. Can I get a house? Shut up, Byron. You, Byron. How many times do we have to go through this? I've been practicing all week. Two out of three falls tossing me in the deep end here. And hey, actually having stipulation matches during the, my career, which has been missing. Missing the past several years. So, you know, good stuff. That's me. Still actually wearing that BCW shirt. I've kind of covered it up. And away we go. So yes, we are here on this fine Saturday here. There is some wrestling news to discuss, as there usually is in this 5 p.m. slot. Even if YouTube continues to bury this channel, I am here 5 p.m. Imagine that. So, for those of you wondering about the Jericho Cruise, and man, if those matches sound good and you want to watch them, and you're like, well, I can't afford to go on the cruise, well, what would you do? It seems like that there is a solution for you. This will not be live, because obviously broadcasting a live broadcast from an actual cruise ship would be ridiculous, right? But they are taping the cruise, and they'll be airing it on Fight TV on the 3rd of November. So if you're looking forward to that, then you'll be able to watch that. Also, if you have Honor Club, that is also included in that bit of business. So cool stuff on the part of the Ayatollah there, of Rock and Rolla, that you can totally watch the matches from that cruise. So good stuff, good stuff. Anyway, speaking of big pay-per-view guys, speaking of big things that are happening, there is still a lot of heat going on about Saudi Arabia and Crown Jewel, and apparently they're still monitoring the situation, but also looking at alternative plans just in case, just in case it does not go according to how they want it to go. So I guess we'll see on that. I'm certainly very curious on that whole bit of business situation, etc., because man, oh man, uh... That would be unprecedented if they actually hadn't canceled that thing, like, weeks before it even happened. Like, I don't think that's ever happened before. I feel like that would be historic if they were like, oh yeah, book all the matches, got everything ready, got all your storylines, and then be like, oh wait, we can't have it now because of international geopolitical murder. That would be certainly crazy. Crazy. Repeated DDTs to the man who gives you the glorious DDT because we want that first fall in this two out of three falls matchup. So yes, I spent some time yesterday getting that face worked on, getting that shirt, getting those pants, those boots worked on because that's what I do. Making it better. Making it more accurate or at least somewhat. I just too close to the ropes. But still, I don't have the 13,500 VC it costs to get that torture rack power bomb, so we'll get there. It takes so long to shuffle over to grab him that he recovers too much, and this probably won't be the first fall. But hey, we'll see. One, a two. Oh, the first fall goes to Slug. First fall, Bobby Rude. Oh, I missed the kick. I missed the kick. But I won't miss this. Well, I did miss that. Don't call your spot before your spot. Uh, we're already back at 91. How the hell did that happen? I guess reversals were pretty serious there. 
All right. Sure enough. Sure enough. Cactus Driver. Working on that head. There we go. This, this is going to be a very quick two to cross match with Bobby Roode. Seriously. So we're going to hit that slug exploder times two. Bobby Roode is in the drop zone. He is in the drop zone, folks. We're going for it. We're going for that five-star slug splash. High risk maneuver. Woo! And then right into the pinfall. I can't quite capitalize, but there we go. One, two, and no! U.S. champion. Two falls, just straight in a row. Buzz has done it. He's outlasted Bobby Roode to win his first title in WWE. And even more impressive, he did it in his first singles match. This guy is the real deal. Yeah, look, it's certainly a huge accomplishment to win the U.S. title the way that he did. But now the real work begins, defending it. He just won the title. Let the man enjoy it for two minutes. Nope. That's not going to happen. The new United States champion is here on SmackDown Live. From one champion to another, congrats on your win over Bobby Roode. Thanks. I mean, woo! That was terrible. Uh, Maybe you should leave that to me and my dad. We're scheduled to hear from the U.S. champ later on tonight. And hopefully we don't have to hear any more of his terrible woos. Bring in Jay Lethal. He can do it pretty good. We have Baron Corbin, Daniel Bryan, and go to the ring. What's up, Constable? It's appropriate my finisher is called the end of days, because if I get a shot at your U.S. title, you're going to lose it by the end of the day. You said if there, Baron. If. That would be an epic failure on my part, wouldn't it? Kind of like someone cashing in their money back briefcase and not winning the title. Don't worry, I'm not going to pull a Corbin. Oh, Baron Corbin side match. Okay, yes. But first, Daniel Bryan. You're certainly off to a hot start here on SmackDown with your U.S. title win over Bobby Roode. Is there anyone you'd like to defend your championship against first? Open challenge? Yeah, you just said it. I did? Anyone. I'm going to take on any and all challengers. Well, that makes my job easier. You talk a big game for someone who's only won two matches. That's two more matches than you won lately. I think you need a lesson in respect. Oh, yeah? Who's going to teach me? Me. You would make a good teacher, because, what's that saying? Those who can, do. Those who can't, are named Baron Corbin. Oh, another backstage brawl. Okay, well, I guess that means that's what all these matches for side matches are, are going to be. Are all just backstage brawls? I mean, that's fine, but they're called side matches, and they get they're just in the backstage area, so whatever. Whatevs. Whatevs. Let's go jump off the truck or something, I don't know. Make things interesting here. Baron Corbin with that weight advantage, with that height advantage. He is too tall. He is too strong. Now, it said you get rewards based on the match rating. What if you get five stars and then lost? Does that still count for your rewards they claim that you're going to get? I guess extra VC or tokens or something? Also, dog barking. Also, Baron being Baron here. Let's get in an actual move on the Corbin on the Corbin, because yeah, I know there are chairs, and fire extinguishers, and you know, all kinds of things here, so let's go find them. Also, hey AJ, hey champ, hey Renee, no, nothing, okay, that's fine, that's fine, security, run away, run away, as you should, Baron, hello, to the skull, we're backstage, you should have known better Baron, you should have known better. They go after Attack Slug, who won that U.S. title on his first singles match. Two out of three falls. You should have known better. But hey, I can't blame you. I can't blame you for underestimating the Slug. Everybody does. That's fine. That's fine. We're still here. Like, seriously? You should go, oh, wait. That guy has new gear. He's probably going to be better today. That's usually how that works, right? You get new gear, you get a fresh look, and then you get hit with a uh, fisherman plex and a punch in the face. That's fine. That's fine, Baron. I'm higher up here than you are in terms of my numbers. But here we go. I know. How about a powerbomb on the uh, car here, Baron Corbin? That seems appropriate for your end of days. If I can actually manage to get off an irreversible here, what the hell's going on? 
Oh no! That's the wrong way, Baron Corbin. That is the wrong way entirely. Aha! Guess we had a payback. Boom! Oh, oh, no. What? 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 What the hell was that? I went for the signature and he totally just whipped it. Totally just whiffed it. If I lose this match to Baron Corbin, then I guess that proves him right, I suppose. Knee to face. Can I get a single reversal here? Seriously. Just one. Just one would be nice. Baron Corbin is not having it here. He's like, no, this this young upstart, I don't approve. Oh! Choke slam backbreaker. I'm going to lose here. This is going real bad. I'm not sure what the hell happened today. That I can't get any reversals off. I'm not sure what the hell happened. Like, seriously. What the hell happened? Oh, crap. Crap. All but over. All but over. But no. It's not over. It's not over. I'll tell you why, Corbin. I'll tell you why, Corbin. You're going to find out when you get hit with this Phoenix Plex on the concrete. Crack. I'm going to get that chair back. This is, this is not how it's going to go, Baron Corbin. This is not how it's going to go. Okay, Constable. Okay, Constable. Let's get you with a slug sploder here on the concrete. Boom! And then... Toss you over to this car here. Hope... No. Alright. Or not. Or not. What happened there? What happened there? Oh, he uses payback with the brass knucks. The knucks! That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Baron Corbin. Oh, here we go. They got us lost. They got us lost. Yup. The payback got me. It totally got me. Kudos, Baron Corbin. There's something special about being the United States champion. Sure, there's a long list of legends who have held this title, and that's great. But it's also how this title has been defended that makes it so special. It's a tradition that started with John Cena, and I've decided that I'm going to continue that tradition. And I'm not going to let this title sit on a shelf and collect dust. I'm not Brock oh, no. Lesnar. I'm going to defend it every chance I get. That's why starting tonight, I'm bringing back the U.S. title open challenge. Who's it going to be? So whoever's ready to step up and face me, come on out right now. Come Who's on now. The first superstar answer buzzes U.S. title open challenge. It's a Baron Corbin. I see signs in the audience that say end of days. So, yep. Okay. Baron Corbin has been itching for a shot of the new guy, and now he gets it. And this could turn out to be a very short United States title reign for Buzz. Double dose of the Baron today. But now we're in a ring, Baron. Now we're in a ring, Baron. I think things might go a little bit differently in the ring than they would in backstage. Just saying. Just saying. Big old punch to your dumb face. Cut your hair. Seriously. Anyway, uh, elsewhere, we've got uh, one Seth Rollins saying that he would love to face Kenny Omega. And I'm like, hmm, that would be a great match. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be a great match. So, I guess we'll see. But also, Omega responding to that. Now, I feel like every year, at this time of year, we get Omega kind of doing the teasing to help his New Japan contract negotiations, which are usually up in January. So, w will he re-sign with New Japan? It's possible. Will he sign with WWE? Mm, I say less likely, but hey, you never know. It's wrestling. Anything can happen. That's kind of the modus operandi, if you will. Anyway, the constable here, speaking of anything, will he defeat me and take my U.S. title? I have my doubts. I have my doubts. But he has that power of the punch there. That power of the punch is a thing to be reckoned with. A reckoning, if you will. But... Attack Slug has to fight with the quickness. The quickness. And totally not botch those high-risk uh, maneuvers. Boom. Feet to face, Corbin. Don't no-sell my feet to face. Not cool. I'll punch you good. 
obviously the weight difference here is going to be the problem because Baron Corbin. Because he's a super heavyweight and I'm not. Obviously. Obviously. But you know what you do with guys who are tall? You work the base. You take out the legs and then they can't execute their offense. At least. Ideally. But still, you get hit with that slug exploder, Baron. Everybody gets hit. Everyone must suffer. Must suffer. Here we go. Slug cutter. Slug cutter. Boom. Too close to the ropes. Too close to the ropes as it happens. Which is why I, I want my other finisher back. But I, don't, I can't afford it yet. So it's kind of where we're at. Is that enough here for Baron Corbin? One. A two. Oh, digging deep, says Cole. I gotta hit one more of those. I gotta hit one more of those. DDTs for days, son. To the ropes. Like this. And then grapple you from the ropes. What do we got? I honestly forget. Just punches? Oh, there we go. Sure. I'll take that. I got no stamina left, but I'll take that. There we go. I can still do a cactus driver to Baron Corbin. He's a lot he's a lot taller than I am, but I can still do one. So guess what? That's gonna be what we're doing here, Baron Corbin. Just multiple cactus drivers. Boom! Ref bump! Ref bump! Accidental ref bump. Slug exploder. Hopefully that ref wakes up at some point. At some point. Attack slug going to that high rent district. Going for that five star slug splash on Baron Corbin. Woo! And a pinfall. That's it. Rope break. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Rope break. He's so tall. That was the problem. That's not going to work. One. Two. It did work. And still, you're U.S. champion. United States of Slug America. Buzz has done it. Successfully defending his U.S. title in an open challenge match. Yeah, but the cracks in his armor are already starting to show. It's only a matter of time before it shatters completely. What? Uh, does armor shatter? It's a metaphor, Saxton. Don't hurt your brain. Shut up, Byron. That's right. And still, you're U.S. champion. We saw the return of the U.S. title open challenge last week, and Buzz is already in the ring, ready for his next opponent. Wow, these two have a little bit of history. Man, Revenge I hope it's safe. Buzz and his invasion of NXT. Will it fuel Gargano to victory tonight? So, yeah, called up to, to SmackDown? Okay, that's cool. Tomorrow, Johnny Wrestling. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.